I've got the community down to uh, help me look for microplastics. We've just had a big storm come through, so it's the perfect opportunity to get everyone out and about. A lot of our wildlife do consume microplastics, thinking that it is a food, so, and then they accumulate in their bodies. It's just not a good ending for those species. I think volunteering um, at any sort of organisation which students are passionate about is always a good strategy, setting them up for a job. It says a lot about the person as well, their interests, their passions, to be going out there, giving their time. Those people are obviously really passionate. I think that puts them at a good standing compared to people who aren't volunteering. I think engaging young people in these projects is really important. It gets them out and about, especially chatting to older volunteers as well. It's great to have that sort of collaboration. Yeah. My name's Sue Conlon and I'm the convener of the Friends of Malton Park Bushland. And we look after the natural areas as much as possible. So we take responsibility for the future survival of the natural heritage in Mosman Park. Young people are, are our best people. Most of the regular volunteers are retired people or who have the Friday morning off. If we can get young people out into nature and see what we're doing, and a lot of these students, they come from overseas and connecting with older people, they've done a good job. You know, we feel so happy that they have been helping us because they've got youth and vigour and energy and enthusiasm. We've got the enthusiasm, we just don't have the other things. And we feel so happy sometimes that we will give them a hug. We value every single one. Uh, we're a non-for-profit charity and we help up to 200 homeless every Sunday with non-perishable food, baked goods, sandwiches and bring back a sense of community to these guys. We're educating the next generation, you know, our next politicians, our next police, our next school teachers to have an empathy and a different outlook on the homeless and actually care about the homeless. Hopefully there'll be no homeless and we'll be out of business. They sort and pack our items for outreach, load our vans, sort donations that have come in. They also attend our Sunday outreach program, but they do that in their own time, I think, because they like us so much, so. <laughs> I was homeless when I was a young girl on the streets, so I, I made a promise to myself that if I ever got out of that situation, when I got out of that situation, I'd do whatever I could to make a difference and give back. <laughs>